May the Lord keep your hearts and minds in his peace as you cleave to him with all your strength. Amen. Jesus began speaking to me when I came into prayer. Very sweetly, he said, Keep me company, my beloved brides. This is a difficult task, the most difficult of recent times, and there are many unbelievers. You spoke well when you said you can't wait to see the expression on their faces when they see who their Messiah is and always has been. There are many who would rather die than admit that I am He. They will perish in hell, and for these I am especially asking your prayers. In their pride and hardness of heart, they will categorically deny me, and this will seal their fate. But Lord, in your mercy, is there no remedy for them? He continued, There is more than meets the eye in these ones, such as hidden things, abominations that have been passed off as tradition. Because of these things, they are chained to the devil and his dark ways. Their children, too, will be accursed because of their bloodline. Yet there is hope that my spirit will triumph in their thinking thus bringing them to the truth. Pray for them. I would love to be there, Lord. At that moment, Jesus reminded me of the scripture. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also who pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Jesus continued, you shall see me along with the Jewish nation, your own brothers and sisters. Man's technology has nothing on heaven's technology. My words must come to pass, and it will be a time of great mercy, Claire. Much will be forgiven the Jewish and Muslim peoples. The way they were formed from infancy has had a stranglehold on their free will and conscience and common sense. There will be massive retraining and regrouping. Some will receive truth. Others will not. This is still yet to be determined. Lord, I know I haven't been as faithful to abstinence as I would like to be. Jesus replied, I have seen your struggles. I have even been helping you. The old man is not as yet dead in you, sweet spouse, <laughs> but we are getting there. May I say the opposition now is much worse than what you experienced in Phoenix when you were able to curb your appetite. Yeah, that was 35 years ago, and I had a whole lot more perseverance in that area. He continued, I do not want you reaching for something that is too rigorous for you. But I do want you to follow St. Teresa's example in doing little things with love, uncommon love. On the very rare occasions when you encounter disrespect, pray, and I will do the convicting. Okay, Lord, I like that much better. <laughs> Please remind me to do so. He continued, you have only to look at your own life to see how you wish to be handled, and that will be a good role model for you. Your job is not easy, and there are souls who are extra sensitive, combative, and even rebellious, which requires you to be an extra sensitive person as well. Jesus, please give me an appetite for those foods you wish me to eat and an aversion to those foods that are bad for me. He replied, that's the plan, but you must cooperate as well.